Over here! Agent! Meet me at the gate. Agent! Follow me! Barricades and have someone radio the patrol to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. Get to the waterfront! That can't be great. for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some, Some survived. survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. 
But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards.
Thanks for the help out there. You should check in with Matt. Hurry. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in D.C. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, agent, head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge.
This will never do. We've got a new skill for you. Which one do you want? Later. The theater settlement is off to the east. You probably run into some trouble along the way. You'll have to do this block by block, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Portable electronic device detected. you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. And they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given our situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But with DC as the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not gonna last long without support. Oh, yeah. 
and protect you. National Guard buddies. They're worried they'll get called to hell to quarantine in New York. Okay. <laughs> this is serious. It's the flu. You remember swine flu? Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. In a couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was like. Coming up in the theater settlement, the woman who runs it is named Odessa Sawyer. Try to stay on her good side. Portable device detected. Always nice to see you. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. I'd only slow her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. Get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I always pay my debts. Odessa Sawyer's daughter, Eleanor, is being held by the hyenas for leverage over the theater settlement. We need to get her back alive and unharmed. Agent Kelso is already on site. We'll attempt to throw the hyenas into disarray to help you get inside, so the two of you can link up to secure the hostage. The hyenas have been here a while, know the building, but they shouldn't be expecting an attack. Portable device detected. detected. 